Yep, I know. It is a weird topic to follow up the last video with, but like, such is life. In the past 100 or so videos that I've made, talking about fashion, cartoons, films, cartoons to live action adaptations. There was a show that been, that's been requested a lot. A show that I haven't watched at any point in my life, that I didn't really know anything about that much to be honest in general. A show that seems to have a regular type of kids cartoons fandom that consists largely of um, girls, especially horse girls, girls that, are, that enjoy horse girl stuff. And it also had a famously adult subgenre of fans that I heard about. That basically was, you know, my introduction to it. A fandom called Bronies, okay? Bronies. The first time I kind of heard of something along those lines was actually from Bob's Burgers and them uh, making kind of a similar fandom in their universe called Questicles. Yeah. <laughs> You know, my understanding was quite limited. So that's why I found it so surprising that there were so many people requesting it because what am I supposed to do? Style ponies? I don't know pony fashion. I have no idea what people were wanting from me. That's why I asked you guys. So the rest I had to kind of learn from watching a few episodes of Equestria Girls. Of course, I had to go to the most trusted source of brony knowledge one can find. A very different fandom has sprung up. The bronies! the adult male fans of My Little Pony. Four. So, is it a weird sex thing? Why, yes. I'm just kidding, kind of. It's undeniable that many, many people are attracted to these ponies. It's not just like there's dirty fan art out there if you look for it. It's like, if you look up My Little Pony at all, you will find dirty fan art even if you try to avoid it. I imagine- Yeah, so I got confused at first why people wanted me to style real ponies. Then I asked you guys to kind of explain what you wanted. So disclaimer, yes, I have watched a few random episodes from different generations. And yes, I have learned about the huge fandom of the series. But this video is for the hypothetical live action that an innocent, nostalgia-driven MLP fan would want. This is a genuine, sincere video. I'm not gonna be referencing too many jokes that are specific to bronies or something like that. Basically, this is for MLP fans that are into the idea of a hypothetical live action where they want to just talk about what those characters would look like in real life or what they would dress like in real life. Considering that the origin of the fandom comes from a show that did not anticipate this huge adult audience, I think it's only fair that I create a restyling that's faithful to that initial mindset and approach. So let's dive in. Setting an overall appearance. We're gonna talk about this real quick. So it's if it's a live action you want, it's a live action you're gonna get here. But for the record, I don't think that MLP lends itself really easily to live action. I don't think that it should be a live action really because it's just fun to translate personalities into real, in quotations, people. It's still fun to do, so who cares, right? But I'm just gonna mention this before we start, that this is going to be a little bit less whimsical and less close to the original as it usually is with my videos just because I'm not going to be giving you a girl with blue skin or a girl with pink skin or whatever for Pinkie Pie or something like that. Just beware. We're gonna start with Applejack. I know that Applejack, Jenny has a whole video on the Applejack problem or whatever. Applejack is just honest country girl. It's very simplistic in a way that they kind of approach her personality or her personality type, but she seems to be quite sweet and very straightforward, which I really appreciate. I really like that she's wearing this jean skirt. I think that that would be really nice, the denim skirt. Apples as a motif as on her shirt and stuff like that. I think that it would be nice to actually go with that. Also take this kind of casual look of earthy tones like this and mix them up with a bit of farm girl aesthetic like this, some browns, some neutral colors mixed in with some yellows and some greens, obviously some cowboy boots, especially since they are back into regular, you know, fashion in terms of, well, I don't know if they're back, if they're out again or whatever it is, but it's possible to do in a cute way, you know? So we're going to go with that as well as maybe something like this with some patterns on it. A bit of whimsical nature you get from the original cartoon, but still having it 
grounded in reality have this type of hair something that a horse girl would be really into and also i thought that something like this would be extremely cute like a little frog or any other small kind of animal on a knit sweater this shirt that i was showing the yellow one with the strawberry i think that instead of a strawberry it would be better if it was an apple i really want to stick to their little iconic iconic iconography <laughs> basically sticking to their icons that are associated with them in some way all right so let's move on to Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, one of those weird characters in terms of her being translated from a pony to a teen in this show. I don't think they did it that well in terms of styling. I found it kind of weird. I guess what they were going for is kind of like Maddie from Ever After High, if you're familiar. I feel like that's what they were going for in terms of her personality, kind of a little kooky, a little bit like a chatterbox, but also in her head a little bit, and also really fun and really friendly, unsure about social cues kind of person, but a very party and upbeat kind of personality. Basically, I'm not particularly great at explaining things right now due to treatment, but I think that's what they were going for. So with her styling, I felt like they didn't really do that great of a job, especially with the tights. I hate this white tights. I wish they were like thigh-high or knee-high socks or something like that, or I don't know. I just don't really like tights like that. They seem really thick, even though it's just a cartoon. I can just tell by the texture of some for some reason, or, or by the way that it's drawn, that it's drawn in a very thick way, which is just, I don't know, it just doesn't vibe with her whole outfit. It makes you look like a two-year-old or three-year-old you know, a child at a recital, their first recital, and it's kind of a mix between tights and what are those things that they crawl in? I don't know. A, the baby thing. The baby's wear. Um, basically her hair would definitely be like this. I think that it would look fantastic on her. With something like this, I feel like something really cute but also layered would really look adorable on her. I would definitely go with a lot of pink because I don't want to be going with pink colors that are on the skin. You know, I don't want to paint the person pink. So I think that something like this would be really cute. It's a bit whimsical, a little bit of childish kind of style with something that is mixed with someone who is extremely outgoing and extremely like such a party person but because of their love for socializing not because they just they're not like a quiet pi partier they're more of like life of the party something like this that Sulgi is wearing right here for some reason i thought it would look really good on her this type of combination a bit more pink a party look with something a bit more festive kind of as like nyon is wearing right here i also thought it would be really cute to have something like this in her hair like little I guess these are beads. I don't know. I think it would look cute for her, especially adding a lot of heart motifs because she has those in her original outfit. Also balloons. I kind of skipped balloons and focus on hearts. I decided that we're just gonna really focus on the hearts as her signature, you know, icon or her image. I thought something like this would be cute. A lot of short things with socks that are a little bit higher, oversized things on top and something like this as well um, where you kind of mix a little bit of this Victorian look with a little bit of a modern aloof model-esque kind of aesthetic and you mix them together to get something a bit whimsical and weird kind of like Maddie from Ever After High the way that I approached her styling except it was turned up all the way all the way up this one would be more pink and cute and a little bit more relaxed but still mismatched slightly you know what I mean so this is Pinkie Pie let's go to Rainbow Dash the so Rainbow Dash is the resident sporty girl jock girl you can really go with whatever you want this is her pony version and this is her teen version I think that the way that they went with it just um, I would definitely go with something a little bit more tomboyish kind of like this a little bit leaning more into this aesthetic that kind of Billy had in the beginning of her career and her like maybe second or third year of her career I, th I thought that this type of hair would look fantastic on her like really deep blue with a lot of highlights that are going into this rainbowy colors but you have to be really careful in how you apply them because this for example this hair doesn't really include all the colors of the rainbow because you don't want it to look like she's going to a pride parade because this is not what the character is supposed to be about entirely or even partially. I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be referencing some LGBT plus stuff. 
but I think that it looks kind of it looks strange sometimes if you don't do it right it can look kind of meh you know because of how many colors are on your head like for example this looks pretty good but at the same time if she were to start to move like if it wasn't a static picture I feel like it might not look as good it's just very difficult to make rainbow hair look good so I thought that maybe something like this would be a little bit more appropriate for her personality and stuff like that having a bit more tomboyish kind of outfits like this if you want to add a bit of color i think that this would be really cute this type of outfit a bit more sporty and then this one as well is also not entirely a whole rainbow but it's still pretty good and i feel like it fits better with her personality if it's like for example just on one side right than the entirety of the head and also just having some accessories like this just some glasses like that like billy in her second or third year of her career kind of aesthetic okay so twilight sparkle Twilight Sparkle, this is what she looks like in the Equestria Girls. Once again, her design is a bit vague when she's a teen, when she's not a pony, because there's not a lot you can go off of when you translate a pony into a human person, right? In terms of like the iconic imagery and stuff like that, right? So with her, you kind of get something a little bit preppy, uh, while at the same time, there's, see, there's some sparkle, there's obviously due to her name probably I would assume but a lot of purple so I thought that it, this kind of remind me of of course Blair and her outfits um, as well as this Chanel outfit that I believe Jenny wore too kind of just reminds me of her but this is more of like a festive kind of look for her she's a little bit more on the preppy side like this with Cher's outfit right here or sweaters like this with this types of patterns I think would look really good having tops like this that have a lot of like heaviness to them and a lot of structure having her hair maybe split or maybe not split but you know like have strands of different color but this types of colors maybe a little bit darker too I thought that having some spectacles some glasses would be cute and also this type of look where it's oversized it's um, this big sweater it's a little bit preppy some socks schoolgirl ish kind of aesthetic with some sparkle here and there you know I think that it would suit her really well her character in general and how she is especially in the Equestria Girls side show so for Fluttershy she's got this pink hair to me she has a lot of princessy vibes and definitely her imagery would be butterflies so I think that oh there's also this moment where she also has a different dress with purple pink green and butterflies again so that's what I decided to go for the most in her look so for example first of all this makeup look oh it looks so good doesn't it can you see my makeup well today my lashes are a bit funky because i didn't put mascara on trying to keep my lashes through the whole process so but i think this looks absolutely fantastic something very feminine and airy like this would look really good for fluttershy with butterflies like this for example right like embedded into the dress into the structure of the dress really really love that it's the same dress from a different different image of it but it's the same dress as before something like this too this would look fantastic for her as well Some Thing like this obviously very much of that you know this type of color this type of green color that I would inject into her outfits here and there that looks really good with her character and especially with this type of hair I think that would look really good and having some butterflies kind of clipped into her hair here and there either as clips or as those beads or I don't even know what to call them some kind of embellishments maybe this kind of color I think it would be like a mix between the one that I showed you before and this one if you mix them that would be the best color for Fluttershy's hair so Sunset Shimmer as far as I understand Sunset Shimmer is an addition in the Equestria Girls she's not one of the main six I don't know maybe she maybe she is now but she's kind of it's hard to explain again because I feel like her outfit is also really strange because it's kind of like punky there's um spikes on her outfits there's you know some leather here and there a lot of it actually to compare to all the other characters obviously but she doesn't have a lot of other things that i can kind of implement in real life that would look really good so i thought that first of all her hair would be like one of her most signature things this type of coloring looks fantastic with just a hint of purplish pink in the middle if you can see it it just gives just a slight oomph to the look i also thought that something 
like this again it kind of looks a little bit similar to rainbow dash but not quite obviously because one of them is more of like a rocker check and the other one is more sporty and kind of tomboyish so i decided to also pull some looks from winona rider um in the 90s this type of you know just like a regular tee boots like this seems like something that would work well for sunset shimmer also this type of look as well the pattern on the top and the tights the skirt i think would look kind of cute for her so basically just kind of combining her outfits combining her look from the show and making it a little bit more about being this rocker chick but a bit chill not trying too hard to be it i don't know if that makes any sense my head is getting foggy already the last one is rarity and rarity is one of those again preppy kind of characters but elegant preppy the type of preppy that is less about being prep and more about being glam but she's kind of on that edge you know just because i think that um because she's supposed to be a teen, you know, they're not going too, too far into her being a glamorous character only. Like, they kind of give her a little bit of a, this stash of prep injected in there. But I think that this type of glam would really suit her going for that Parisian chic. I know that her outfits in the original are kind of very 2009-ish with that, I don't even know what they're called, those shirts that don't have sleeves and then they go out at mid-waist. I don't know what they're called. I don't really like what they look like, but I know that they were really, really popular at the time. I even had one in like 2010. But in any case, just knowing that, I feel like this types of outfits would look really good on her. This kind of well-tailored shirts, something like this, a girl that walks around expensive galleries and stares at things, kind of um, Jenny from Blackpink out um, vibes, you know, this type of hair and accessories, having a bow at the back just tied like this. Her hair could be like genuinely like this color, but just everything else a little bit more along the lines of this aesthetic this kind of chanel mixed with model of duty look but maybe no model of duty is too casual of an ex of, of a description i think like a girl that was obsessed with being a ballerina since she was a little girl you know french and russians usually have that kind of vibe when they're in europe somewhere the girls that grow up in really strict environments <laughs> But they have this like taste for for glamour. That's what Rarity gives me a little bit too strict on herself and others kind of person Do you know what I mean? Does it make sense? She's also a little bit spoiled at the same time like this kind of girl, you know So this is what I have for everybody. I think everyone in Equestria girls. I hope you guys enjoyed this I will be back soon. Um, I have another Infusion in about a week and when it happens i'm like out for five days and then I Recuperate within like two days after that. So like a week for just recuperating We'll see when i'll be able to make another video, but it's gonna be at least once a month at least at the very least, you know, so you can expect something funky and weird like this to appear here and there. Leave the requests in the description, especially if you want me to talk about something, something else or something show related. I don't know, something funky. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!